redstone tutorial spotlight thing on the combination block I built that you guys might like. So I just showed you kind of how it worked and here's the redstone for it. So basically what happens is this number one, three, and five have to be pressed down to open the door. And if you do another one, it closes. But if you turn that one off, it goes back on. Now, here's the lock right here. This is the basic lock. Boom. 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 Er, wrong way. All of them were on. That's what the reset switch is for. Now, all these are on. And now this light is on. I turn one off turns off because you need no inputs from any three sides of this wool block right here or the redstone torch will turn off which is not what we want alright so now that you've seen the basic lock you see all this colored wool here all this stuff in here right all around that would be all connected to this one button Now, you can do only two, and press it, and it will only take those two back. You can take these two, and it will only t take those two back. Or you can push all five down, and all of them are out now, and press the button. Now, if all five are out, with this design, you have to press the reset button two times because these are these two are right next to each other and it interferes and if I try to fix that then it will move this line out way out there and make it not as compact when I think that you should just be have the patience to pr press it once press it twice whoa hello or three times I don't know what happened there Let's try that again. I don't think that's ever happened. But let's see. Press it once. Press it again. Okay, that's fine then. Let's try one more time. Because I think this middle one went out. One. Two. Aha. Alright, so there's a glitch. If you press it two times too fast, this middle one will go out. And I don't know how to fix these glitches because unless I rebuild it in a huge scale and not make it compact at all, I don't think I'd be able to find what is making this glitch out. But basically this lock works fine because that door is open now. You press any more, it goes closed. You press this once press it twice and this door glitches out a little bit when it's resetting but you can't get through it I've tested it um, it opens like it doesn't even open all the way it opens like halfway then closes and just gives like the image of it opening but you can't get in I've tested it I changed the repeater times right here to make sure that you couldn't which is good <laughs> Alright, well this is my redstone combination lock, um, and I'll be back in a second to show you guys another cool redstone thing that is right over there. So see you guys in a second. Do, 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 do. Out in the wasteland of Fallout 3, hopefully Fallout 4 soon, and I go into a vault. Open sesame, walk in. Whoa. Oh, what's this water stuff? Oh no. Ah, go away. No, stop it. No. Oh, hi. What? Oh. Yay, I'm clean now. Alright, so. I built this on the shenanigans. The first shenanigans vanilla server. It is the decontamination chamber. Now, I built it a lot different right now. I built it on a bigger scale with longer door opening and more easy to comprehendness. So, you guys will see right here. I don't really need that torch there, but uh, OCD, I guess. 
Um, what happens is I step on this pressure plate and it activates this wire right here and turns this one off, which turns this one on, which turns this one off, which turns this one off. So it turned this, this redstone. And then it turns both of these pistons off, and it's the exact same design on the other side. So you press on, you walk. Yeah, it's not that hard. Um, and then when you step on those pressure plates, it sends signal right here, down or over to right here, turns this redstone torch on, turns this one on, turns this one on off which will turn this off right here and turn off these pistons which will let water go through and then when this pre these pressure plates on the inside are deactivated it takes a little bit because of this repeater and that repeater to get back to it and turn it off so it turns off at a perfect time that the water stops the water flow stops coming down through and it closes up again and then, the second thing that happens when you step on those pressure plates is it inverts these two torches, goes through this line. I know I could use these hoppers to use to make a timer, and I probably will. I'll just use up, uh, put like 20 in each thing. I forgot exactly how you do it. I'll have to watch the videos by CMB Minecraft and stuff again. But this is just a big timer telling it to wait a long time before it opens those doors. It goes through, inverts this torch, turns it on, goes and sends a signal directly here to open this door here, open these two pistons, it's the same on both sides, and it goes around, goes right here, turns on this right here, which again turns the doors off, because it uh, turn, if you turn this on, it opens the doors and if you turn this on right here it'll open the doors and then it goes around again and then sends another signal here so it sends a signal here turns the doors off before that turns off again it sends a signal here and turns the doors off before that signal goes away it sends a signal back to here and turns the doors off so that's how that works and it keeps the doors open for a while and the timer down there time of below just keeps it from uh, from opening too fast and letting water out. Here we go. Turns off. Water's going. Water's going. Doors open. Doors close. You saw it going around there? That's how it works. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't uploaded in a long time and I don't think I'll be doing regular videos again, but I just wanted to show off this redstone I've been working on and I've been playing the Aether mod, and it's fun, and it's on 1.5.1, and I don't think there's many differences in 1.5.2 except for bug fixes, but when 1.6 comes out, I might start vanilla, a vanilla series, I don't know, maybe. I know I'll be playing, but I don't know if I'll start a series, because YouTube is hard. Yeah. <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Adult Diaper. I'll see you guys in the next episode.